Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. We've got this fractal design case uh, and a custom computer build for uh, to be used as for a flight simulator. And I was really busy uh, during this um, project. We were getting ready to move from upstairs to downstairs. So I didn't really have time to do a proper step-by-step -step video of this project, but I did want to at least do a kind of progress video of this um, system. So that's the motherboard. I showed the case at the beginning. I'll show all the boxes to the different components so you can kind of see their features and their model numbers and so on. You can pause in the video if you want to check that out. I would have liked to have had uh, more memory, but he only paid for two 16s. And I would have liked to have had an NVMe M.2 solid state drive as opposed to the standard SATA solid state drive that he already had. We could have done an i9 also. Uh, but we did the i7. Mostly all of that was to kind of keep the cost down a little bit. Um, the system, I think, total was around $2,500. We could have gotten it as much as $3,000. Um, the Corsair cooling system for the CPU has the pump inside the water block over the CPU there and plugs in with a little USB cord. And um, we've already got a lot of this stuff installed already, but we're just doing some preliminary tests of the motherboard. Those two case fans will actually come out and a radiator will be put in for this uh, video card with M240 by Thermaltake. Now we've got that installed. We've already shaped all our tubing. And we've installed seven additional USB 3.0 ports in the rear. So these are all um, special requests from the customer based off of their needs, their budget, And in this case, um, some of the things that he already had, uh, such so he already had the case, the power supply, had a standard SATA solid state drive with an operating system already installed. Uh, this uh, fan with LED lighting will be mounted right up here above the reservoir and pump. The video card is roughly around $850 to $900, so there's a lot of money involved just for that one video card. It's a really amazing video card. So at this stage, we're still upstairs in the upstairs location. This little controller will allow you to adjust the lighting um, sequences for the LED fans and the speed and all that sort of thing. And we'll mount that inside the unit when we're a little later on. So these images are basically being shot while we're still upstairs and um, we lost a couple of days there. Now we're downstairs and we do have liquid in the system now. It's running to get the air bubbles to dissipate out of the cooling system, out of the, the system cooling system for the video card. That takes anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. We're now in the downstairs location at this point, and we had... Um, shut down the weekend before the July 1st um, uh, afternoon on Saturday 
and worked all the way through till Monday morning, and then I had to get back to normal business, even though the place wasn't really fully set up yet. So it was all kinds of insanity. Big, just a total mess all around me. And I put in like 10 to 15 hours a day for as much as three additional weeks it took us to get it set up. And I did, an up, I did upload a video prior to this one showing that before and after move in. Um, the tempered glass side cover there actually attaches magnetically so it doesn't really require uh, retaining screws or anything like that but there are a couple of retaining screws that you can put in after you've, you've put it on. Um, there is a little bit of background noise uh, in this little segment here but you can definitely tell the system is still very quiet It's still a very formidable system. Uh, it's very powerful, it's very stable, very solid. This particular motherboard didn't give me a lick of trouble. Nothing in this system gave me any trouble whatsoever. It was all rock solid. I've got a few pictures of some other computer builds we've done, but this is the first video that I've actually done of um, a computer build, and mostly because this one is is was so um, it just had a lot of eye candy. It's a very nice liquid cooled system, and and I was just so very excited to be able to do this repair or this uh, build. And um, so I just wanted to kind of show uh, an example of one of our custom computer builds. If I had two or three thousand dollars to spend, I would be more than happy to have this system. I don't have anything this nice. So it's been running for a day and a half, two days, something like that. And it's just about ready. So we're shooting the video up on the large monitor mounted on the wall. 
And anyway, it's just about ready to go and deliver to the customer. Hope you enjoyed looking at it as much as I enjoyed building it. We appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Be sure and like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye now.